Here we go. Initialization. I don't know how this is going to look on the stream, to be quite honest. That's a hold button. It's going to be really loud for a minute. I haven't, I haven't messed about with the sound settings yet. Or any settings for that matter. So, yeah, it's going to be a bit interesting. Until I can get in those sound settings. To be fair, though, it doesn't seem too loud. Is it too loud for you guys? Let, let me know. Let me know. Keyboard and mouse. Obviously, keyboard and mouse. My flying is absolutely shocking on keyboard and mouse, but we'll see how it goes anyway. Ooh, this is a pretty planet. Dog food. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, saying that, Max, obviously... I got given all those freaking bean boozles over the, on the Friday, Friday night, Thursday night, whenever it was, and then Hobson actually came around mine and tried one. He sat there like, "Oh, I am so sorry. I made you do that." <laughs> ah, okay. So where have we spawned? We've spawned on a toxic planet. This is <laughs> this is awesome. Um. Alright, uh, perform a scan for sodium. Scanner is damaged. We need ferrite. Ferrite is off of... That's a plant. Is that too loud? That seems too loud. Or is that me? Let me turn me down. Are you... Is it too loud for you guys? I, I can't... can't quite tell, to be honest. Alright, we need materials. Is that material? Yeah, that's material. Material. Material, 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 material. Gone into a loop. Lower it like 5%. Cool. No, that's fine. Um, general. How's that? There we go. Perfect. That's a bit better. Sound seems fine to me, but I'm just on my phone. <laughs> Okay, repair it, scanner. Scanner, scanner, scanner. One of those. That's 20 of you down up. Might be 5%. It's not 20. No, it could be 20%. Well, it is 20%, actually. Oh well. Um, sodium. Sodium nitride. Sodium rich plant. Sodium nitride crystals. 25. It's all good. It's all good, brother. I've never seen anything like that. He is cute as hell. I need his pet. I need him as my pet. Oh, I can't get that. Damn it. I'm going to die before I even start. <laughs> L.I. and dinner for me. That's because you are shired. No worries, Matt, uh, buddy. Thank you for that. Obviously, thank you for coming in, as always. It's greatly appreciated, every time. Right, how do I do this again? X. That button, that button, that button. There we go. Bit of charge there. Me. Ooh, that thing flies. That's the wrong button. What button do I need to press? That button? No? Don't know. <laughs> Get to the sodium. And sodium. Perfect. Do another one of those. Charge that little baby up. Oh my god, they're so far away. Carbon. May as well shoot some shit while I'm here. La da dee, la dee doo, bang. There we go. Signal source? I love how even the, the, the sat-nav is still confused as to where I'm going. Like, is that a signal source? Is that not? Never got this game but thought about it a lot. You should get this game. This game is cracker-lackin'. Cracker-lackin'. It's actually really good. The The story completely confuses the crap out of me, I have to admit. Um, but the, fur the further in you get, the more confused you get. It's really cool. And then by the end of it, you're sat there going... Huh? But it kind of makes sense by the end of it, so... Don't know. It's definitely, 
I just have to see how it goes. I'm just running off of uh, impulse memory here. I remember that these crystals are very important. How do I charge that? Mm hmm. There we go. People spend months searching for a planet they want to live on. Uh, yes. Yeah, you got to find the perfect planet. Uh, okay. Well, we're not going to question the flying plants now, are we? Thank you, oh mighty ones. I think. Would they be mighty if they're floating? <laughs> I don't know. Alright, ship is online. Atlas connection, eh. Launch thruster is dead. Pulse engine, dead. Oh, great. Okay. Awesome. Love that. Alright, uh, let's connect my suit. Unavailable. Substituting data. Exosuit connected. Suggestion. Pilot should perform maintenance. Select desired repair path. Well, I'll repair the ship. How about that? That's a good path. It's a good path. Right, we need a hermetic seal and some metal plating. Okay. Right. Uh, hermetic seal, metal plating. Well, there's the plating. That was simple enough. What do we need for the hermetic seal? I can't remember. Oh, I think we've got to find it, don't we? In fact, I like interesting facts. When the year 2000 was threatening a lot of older electronics that relied on, relied on dates, thinking VCR stuff, they said to change the year back to 1971. Because 1972 was the same as 2000, we'd have the same pattern of leap years every year after. Sorry. What? So instead of just carrying on with the year 2000, So, hang on. Let me just get that up so I can read that again. It relied on dates. They said to change the year back to 1971 because 1972 was the same. So, ba so hang on. Oh. So in theory they would have sent the years on the electrics back to 1971, it would then tick a year, they would then have years to work out how to get it, the electrics to not go kaput? I am so lost. I understand it but my brain just can't get over that little leap of understanding it even more. That's so bad. I'm not stupid officer, honestly. Cry if you like. Right, well, we need a bit more ferrite because I want another launch thruster. A bit of launch fuel is always good. Go. Alright, it's a bit more of that. Make a plate. Make a plate. Make one of those as well. Perfect. The days of the week in 1972 were the same as the days of the week in 2000, but it wasn't just for the one year, but every subsequent year as well. So, I mean, the main question is, did they send the years back? Like, surely we would have learned about that if they did. Like, they would have sat there and went, oh my god, you know, this is what you've got now. But back in the 70s, we couldn't handle the year 2000. But, as Max has clearly put, we could send somebody to space. How does that work? Not only did they send a man into space, Barry. <laughs> because leap years throw things off just for the old tech. I mean, I do understand that. Leap year kind of throws me off as well. The scramble was to find programmers to rewrite everything so that the years weren't just two, digit two digits, but four digits. I mean, yeah, they're not. They're still dumb. How can we put somebody on the moon in 1969? Or America put somebody on the moon? And and, and <laughs> my my tape player, my video tape player, couldn't handle changing one number. <laughs> That's, I'm sorry, but what? Um. Okay, that useless fact. Can we have a redemption useless fact? So please, somebody redeem another useless fact. That's going to redeem us from that useless fact, because that was just disgusting. 